Steve O'Neill, founder of the British Karate Fighter Shinkai, was the first man ever to fight and defeat a hundred successive opponents in a single period of Kamate. So I did my hundred fights in Japan, I did that in Tokyo. It's a thing which Kanshu had done many years ago, and he wanted to create a student to do the same type of thing. Uh, and he gave us the conditions, you know, you had to stay on your feet all the time, and if you went down longer than between four to five seconds, he would then cancel it and everything would become invalid, even to the last fight. You had to be on your feet or get up after being hit down very quickly. Uh, he approached me and said, you know, he thought I had it in me to do the hundred fights, and I was amazed because uh, not being very big, I thought it was only for a big person. I never knew when it was coming up, but I knew it was coming up. It's something you know is coming and something you don't take a chance. And then, of course, one Sunday morning, I happened to come to the dojo and it was on. Uh, it's like you see everybody, but you don't see everybody. You're tremendously excited and worked up. And, and uh, until the first fight starts, you realize what you're in for. And you know what's happening, or you know how you're fighting. Up to, I think I can remember keeping count of the fights, up to my about 13th fight, but then I lost count. I had a notion I was doing my last fight when I was fighting the top boys. Uh, the last three boys I fought was uh, Shia and Shigeru Yama, and then uh, it was, I think, Watanabe, which was a sensei at that time. And then, of course, uh, Shia and Nakamura. He was my last one. He was a hard one. <laughs> uh, they gave me a shield plus a certificate. And that's it, and no more. You know, it's just that I've accomplished something which Kansha Yama wanted me to do. And I was very proud that I, uh, I could have given him that little that pleasure.